That is the absolute best damage that I can actually do with this team. Hus is actually a super crazy damage dealing champion in Hydro Clan Boss. And here's why. And of course, if you guys doesn't really know what Hus ability are, here are his ability. Yeah, on the A1, we got attack one enemy, two time, has a 40% chance of placing a provoke on one turn. That's, uh, that's, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. But I wouldn't recommend you guys to build him as a main provoker. I would say build him as a nuker because of his A2 here. Attack all enemies has a 50% chance of placing stun, which is whatever. Yeah, good for dungeon and stuff, but not really good for Hydra. But his damage is actually based on enemy max HP, which is the main reason why Core is considered a legendary. Yeah, but Hus ability is AOE, which is way better, which is way better than others champion. Yeah. For example, we got Royal Guard do pretty much the same, but he, his damage is kind of based on attack, which is, which means you have to build him with a ton of attack. But Hus ability only based on enemy max HP, which means you'll need to build him with 100% crit and as much crit damage as possible. You don't need to care about his stat. Yeah, you can build him as tanky as possible, and he can still deal some massive damage absolutely crazy yep anyways on the a3 <laughs> on the a3 attack one i mean the damage increase according to his uh this champion current hp which is fun i would say like to be honest with you his a1 and a3 is kind of weird because uh, his a3 is based on hp and a1 is based on attack which i mean i i would still recommend you get to stack his hp up because i mean his hp is just shallot i mean i <laughs> He's, he has a nice base HP, which is cool. And yeah, if you, I wouldn't recommend you guys to build him with attack because it's not really needed. Yeah, just build him as tanky as possible. And of course, here are the stats here. Yeah. 64k HP, not too bad. 2.2k defense, could be higher actually. Um, I mean, to be honest with you, I would say like 3k defense would be the best. But I mean, it, it works for me. So I don't think you have to build him with that amount of, of defense. So yeah, whatever, 193 speed, 100% crit rate, and 209 crit damage. Yes, the gear here are absolutely not too good. Not too crazy, not too stupidly amazing like all the YouTuber can, yeah. So, yes, the gear here are super neutral. It's super like mid, like it's, it's, it's mid, it's super mid. So, I think you can, most of you guys out there could probably do it, yeah. And of course, I... All, I didn't win with uh, accuracy build, so yeah, I, I only have 147, which is whatever, yeah. The mastery though. The mastery, I actually went down with Helm Smasher. Because, I don't know, I mean, I, I'm thinking like if... Because of Hydra doesn't, doesn't really have that much HP anyways. So, I'm thinking like... Why not ignore the def uh, it, its defense? Like, I don't know, I mean... Uh, people recommend to go with War Master, but I don't know. Like I'm, I'm kind of like more lean towards the Helm Smasher side because, like, in my opinion, if you're using a nuker, like absolute freaking nuker, yeah, not not like just a single damage dealing champion. Yeah, that's, that's, that's that's not it. Yeah, if you're doing like a absolute nuking champion, like Hus for example, I feel like Helm Smasher is way better, right? Because it, it ignores defense, which is crazy. And yeah, I mean, it's gonna be ignoring a ton of defense. I mean, really though, uh, the, the, the War Master is not gonna do that as much damage. I think it's only like 9k per tick or 6k per tick. So I don't think it's actually that much. So I think personally, Helm's Master is better, in my opinion. And of course, the other Master is whatever. Yeah, Retribution for extra counter attack is whatever. Yeah, so yeah, I will actually show you guys the team right now. Yeah, this is the team. Yeah, this is the team. We got Geomancer. We already know how good Geo is, right? We already know that he is one of the best damage dealing champion in the entire game. No one can absolutely out damage him in any category. Yeah, but I kind of want him. I kind of want him to be in the team just to try him out, compare his damage to Hus. I mean, really though. I mean, maybe. Actually, Hus compared to him because hey, we already know uh, Geo damage. Yeah, so 
actually we wanted to compare us to uh, GL. So I kind of put him there. We got Tila. Tila Gold Main. One of the champions that just got buffed, recently got buffed, and she's actually an insane Hydro Climb champion now because of his uh, her AoE HP burn, her Hex, and of course Leech. Absolute amazing. Last time I didn't make a video about her last time, but now she's gonna be uh, absolute amazing because I fully booked her now. So yeah, <laughs> absolute amazing. Got 200 rock for the cleansing and of course extra buff, the increased speed and increased defense. Wreck to drive for healing, silk for extra healing and revival. So yeah, I mean, this is the team that I'll be using for this video because eh, I think this is a well-rounded team. Yeah, I think we have all the DPS, all the debuff, all the buff, pretty much everything we need. Yeah, so why not show you guys a run right now? Bam! That is the absolute best damage that I can actually do with this team on manual. Yes, it's not on auto. We can do 9 million damage on auto easily. But if you actually manual this, 42.6 million damage. And Tila is actually doing 16 million damage. Woo! 16 million damage. Hus doing 7 million, Geomancer doing 9.7, doing 5, 200 Rock doing 3. Absolutely crazy. Absolutely amazing. I'm not like, that is super impressive. I mean, considering Tila was a sh. Dude, what is wrong with my camp? Why am I so bright? Considering Tila was the like one of the absolute worst champions in the game, now she turns out to be one of the absolute best champion in the entire game for Hydro Clan boss of course and of course Hus and maybe in the past he's not really uh, like as well known as now but uh, he's still kind of like like underdog he's still kind of like an underdog and like a uh, hidden gem but yeah this video should probably prove the point that Hus and Tila are probably one of the best champion for Hydro Clan boss now yeah but remember this team can actually do better because if you're talking about like harder difficulty, yeah, Hus can actually do better. Because on normal, the the HP of each head is actually quite low, but it increased significantly, I think, on higher difficulty. So Hus can actually do way better damage on higher difficulty. Whatever. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. This should prove the point that Hus is one of the best epic champion in the entire game now for harder combos. And yeah. That's about it. If you enjoy this kind of content, want to subscribe to my channel, and of course, leave a comment down below who is actually your favorite champion. Yeah, who is actually your favorite champion for Hydra Clan Boss? I don't lie. Yeah, just tell me down in the comment section below. Yeah, please, please, please. And yeah, have a nice weekend, guys. Bye.